technical difficulties hold on hold on hold on hold on
lagging? Am I responding too slow? Or what? I need to figure this shit out. We chill. We chill. We chill. We chill. We chill. We chill. We in there. First YouTube stream. Right, I'm just clicking on any random level. What the fuck? Alright. Alright. This game is amazing. Let's let it cook real quick. L streamer not reading the chat. Wow. Can you hear me? I read it. All right, there we go. All the settings right, let's go. Oh crap, this is the boss. Oh. This is not good. Ooh, a gun. Ooh. Am I fighting a tumor? Like, why? Mic kind of low. It better now? Or too loud? Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yo. This used to be a... A good and decent platformer game. Now it's Cuphead. That's kind of crazy. Can't believe Moan is my first viewer. I hate on him so much. It's kind of crazy. Oh, crap. Okay, let me lock in. Ugh! really a pro at this game yo you couldn't do better oh crap Ugh. i won't lose another life for the, the rest of this boss fight that's how goaded i am at this game what the what is that oh my I just, I don't in it. I, I, uh, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> what happened was, right? So my butthole's been itching all day, right? And, you know, sometimes a guy just has to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Release himself. While I was releasing myself, Brody came in. And like jump me and stuff. Couldn't like that's not like <laughs> like that's not that's so like such a slime ball move. I can't believe he did that to me. <laughs> like you know that feeling when your butthole kinda itch, you know what I'm saying? Oh infallible, what's up? 
uh, yeah, bad timing for you to, <laughs> bad timing for you to come in, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't ashamed of it, you know, when a bro's booty hole itch, you know, a booty hole itch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Click that in odd moment, get used to it, uh, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Ugh, why you look like that nose is crazy? I'm not gonna lie. He also looks deranged and poor. Bubble itching off the jump. I mean, hey, that's how you know I keep it a honey with you. You know what I'm saying? That's why you should subscribe. Yeah. Because I keep it 100. I wonder if I even have my notifications on. What is this even for? Okay, I'm done with this. Oh, there's a thing over there. Let's go. Whoa, I'm getting attacked by potatoes and eggplants. Clipped? How I get clipped on my, okay. On my first, okay. Wow. Huh. Take a bite out of that little juicy part right there. You know what I'm saying? They should put me in like an Olympics for this game. Because like, I'm just that good. Call it eSports. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is more the chicken. I'm getting dragged. Would y'all let a chicken grab you, grip you by your forehead like this and drag you around? Couldn't be me. Oh, well, except for this specific case. <laughs> this is my kind of game right here. Never mind. They got just random eggplants on the ground. That's a little strange. That's, that's not my thing. I got a mushroom following me around. I just... Okay. Oh. Never mind. Alright, let's go. No more deaths. Ooh. Is that a priest? A pizza priest? Yo. <laughs> I'm trying to get my pizza uh, done by the pizza priest. Done by? Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to take a rain check on that one. Let's go. Oh, that's done. Uh, this like mentally deficient eggplant, bro. Get out the way. All right, let's go. Here we go. If I get hit one more time, I'm off this game. I'm letting you know right, right now. You guys got a game you want me to play? Because I'll play it if I got it. Mm. Mm. Too easy. Mm. Too easy. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm off this game. <laughs> yeah.
small intermission. play uh hold on what should I play or what games I got uh, hmm that uh, game's too horny I don't know about that one I might get kicked off Oh, I got Bully. Metal Gear Solid. Luigi's Mansion. Hold on. NBC2. We're going to play a scary game. Street Fighter Five. Let's see. Minecraft. Yeesh. Oh, hold on. Let me get. There we go. go you should be able to see now there you go should be able to see now Dragon Ball Z Kakarot that game's on sale I got a couple stuff on my wish list wish wish list wish list I can buy what they got Spider-Man, Ultra Kill, Fear the Spotlight. Oh yeah, I was waiting to get this game. Okay, hold on. Amen. Let me close Ready this. You guys don't see that. Downloading, downloading. Let's watch a video while we wait. Let's watch a video. What we got on here? Technology is make. All right. See, I found a good video, or right, hopefully it's good. All right. Let's go. 
Technology is making our lives mundane, unfulfilling, and unnatural. Our spiritual and psychological health is in the gutter thanks to big tech and industrialized society. Our planet is equally doomed. These issues do not know. Would you guys say that, uh, uh, that, like, technology is the real reason that we're all, you know, sad, depressed, confused, and stuff like that? That's food for thought. No left or right, conservative or liberal. The problems brought upon us by technology will only get worse. So let's just blow it all up. It's time to start over. Well, I that wouldn't. was the philosophy of the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski. To ignite a revolution, Ted anonymously mailed bombs to people he saw as critical in continuing industrial growth, including advertising executives, timber industry lobbyists, and computer scientists. Ted wrote an entire manifesto as he was carrying out these bombings, which features predictions and analysis of humanity's future. Today, a lot of these predictions have proven to be eerily accurate. <laughs> Bro is on to something. We should have let him keep going, you know what I'm saying? Who cares if we lose a couple billionaires, you know, a couple children lose their lives? We're forwarding human progress here, bro. Yo, this guy, genius, bro. Ted was not just some crazy person either. Throughout his life, he displayed genius-level intellect time and time again. So, let's talk about how and why Ted Kaczynski wanted to destroy... Ugly mugshot, though, I'm not gonna lie. Throughout his whole life, Ted Kaczynski was incredibly intelligent. He skipped the 6th and 11th grades. He graduated high school at age 15 and began college at Harvard at 16. No, that's at crazy. 20, he graduated with a bachelor's in economics. But this is kind of when Ted's life started to fall apart. At Harvard, Ted participated in a study about mind control techniques. You see, in this study, <laughs> participants what? were told they would write personal essays about their aspiration and dreams, and then debate philosophy with other students. But in reality, the essays were given to an anonymous person who would use them to verbally abuse their respective authors. Dang. The students' brains were monitored as, once a week, they received intensely personal verbal attacks about their hopes and dreams. Boy, if someone tried to roast me for my hopes and dreams for an assignment, bro, I'd be so hot. I'd be so hot. Like, what you doing, bro? I'm sitting here pouring my heart out into this essay, and you got me, you got me out here, like, listening to this dude yapping? Like, come on now. This experiment lasted three years. Ted later said it had no impact on the trajectory of his life. Given his intelligence, I could be inclined to believe him, but who really knows? In 1966, Kaczynski was having fantasies about becoming a woman and decided to undergo a gender transition. Ted made an appointment to discuss this idea with a psychiatrist, but changed his mind in the waiting room. After leaving, Ted felt disgusted by his, quote, sexual fantasies and said he wanted to kill the psychiatrist. Specifically, in Yo. a way that would not lead to him getting caught, so that he could kill other people too. Ted did not kill his psychiatrist, but he later said this incident was a major turning point in his life. He wrote that he re-emerged from this darkness, quote, like a phoenix from the ashes. And bo boy, heck no. Like a phoenix from the ashes. He describes himself as a phoenix. Nah, that's crazy. Boldened with a new sense of hope. After the incident with the psychiatrist, Ted resigned from his job as a college professor and relocated to a remote cabin in the woods of Montana. There, he lived without electricity or running water and took occasional odd jobs while receiving significant financial support from his parents. His goal was to eventually become entirely self-sufficient. He lived mostly on foraged plants and wild rabbits was here in Montana that Ted began his career as an eco-terrorist. He was building pipe bombs in the wilderness? That sounds like a cold gig, boy. Ugh, that'd be fun. I mean, whoa. <laughs> like, that'd be, like, interesting to observe and stuff and experience. I would never, um, you know, that's vile. That's inhumane activity <clears throat> one 
day in Montana, Ted was on one of his favorite hikes through the woods around his cabin. When he arrived at his destination, a rocky ridge near a waterfall, a road had been built right through it. Ted would later describe this moment. You just can't imagine how upset I was. It was from that point on that I decided rather than trying to acquire further wilderness skills, I would work on getting back at the system. Revenge. Indeed, Ted made true on his word. On one occasion, someone built a vacation home within a mile of his cabin. Ted broke into the house and vandalized it. He also destroyed snowmobiles and motorcycles that the home's owners had been riding through the woods. Dang, for what, On numerous though? occasions, Ted sabotaged technology that he saw as invading the natural area. He caught a bulldozer on fire. He put sugar in the tanks of snowmobiles. Ted demolished the truck of a construction worker that he saw in the woods. What? Still, though, this was small time compared to his now famous bombing. Between 1978 and 1995, Kaczynski anonymously mailed or hand-delivered a series of bombs that killed three people and injured 23 others. Ted sent bombs to people he saw as foot soldiers for industrial growth. <coughs> In 1979, the FBI assembled a task force of 150 investigators for the Unabomb case, which was codenamed for the University and Airline Bombing Targets. These efforts proved to be almost entirely pointless. In about two decades, the FBI made virtually no progress on identifying their so-called Unabomber. Wait, hold on. You tell me the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigations, couldn't catch a dude in sunglasses and a hoodie? <laughs> like, for real? What was it, 1995? Bro, that's... That's not it, Chief. In about two decades, the FBI made virtually no progress on identifying their... No progress for two decades is wild. See, as Ted sent his bombs, he took great care to avoid leaving any evidence. Bro, if it's taken... Bro, I'm gonna start doing it. <laughs> if it's this easy... Let me stop incriminating myself. He often included intentionally misleading clues in the packages. Many of the bombs included fingerprints that didn't even belong to Ted. Still at large in 1995, Ted mailed his essay, Industrial Society and Its Future, to several media outlets. Wow. He demanded that it be published in a major newspaper. If his demands were met, Ted said he would stop the bombing. In this essay, also Go called balls. the Bomber Manifesto, Ted outlined his philosophy and his motivations for the attacks. Ted's manifesto opens with what is basically his thesis. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. Kaczynski argues that we have created a world that basically humans aren't evolved to live in. Throughout 35,000 words, Ted expounds on this idea and presents nature as an alternative to the problems plaguing modern society. Technology has turned us into an industrialized society. In this society, Ted argues the system is prioritized above all other things, including human freedom. He might have been spitting during, like, the industrial age, but that was a long time ago, Brody. 1995? You're just now, like, come on now. You a little late to the party. Sorry, but, you know. Like, come on. We've done had... Trains, boats, uh, planes for well over like 40, 50, 60 years at that point. I'm like, come on, dude. It's a little late. It's a little late. Your behavior is regulated to make you more effective within the system. And your well-being is defined by your ability to be a productive part of that system. Take, for example, attention disorders. These impact one's ability to be productive within cool the with industrial that. system. And so they are addressed, even though there's nothing inherently harmful about having a short attention span. Clinical depression is on the rise. The societal conditions which cause this depression are left entirely unaddressed. Instead, people are given medicine that allows them to tolerate conditions they naturally find intolerable. Now, nah, but... Uh... How do I say this? Correlation does not equal causation, if you know what I mean. Just because, right, 
I start drinking more water, but that I'm also getting more moody at the same time, doesn't mean it's the water that's happening or that's making it happen. It's just like, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, I don't think it's the technological improvements. I think it's the culture or whatever it was. I don't know. To varying degrees, Ted says this applies to all aspects of modern life. Pazinski believed this was unavoidable in industrial society. Initially, technology seemed wholly beneficial. Plumbing, electricity, telecommunications, who in their right mind would resist these conveniences? Kaczynski argued that one by one, though, these technologies would integrate themselves so profoundly into our lives, they would erode personal freedoms. As an example, Kaczynski like points to the automobile. Owning a car was once an optional luxury, but slowly over time, our society was constructed with cars in mind. Cities were designed around the idea of people owning cars. Now you're virtually required to own a car, so you are then required to do all that entails. Working to pay for one, registering, and getting educated on the use of a car, etc. Even the pedestrians' freedoms have now been limited by cars. There are designated sidewalks and walkways, and even then, the pedestrian is constantly at risk to get killed by a reckless driver. Mm, I could, yeah, you got a point, you got a point. But I mean, if that's what you're worried about, just go to Europe, bro. Or go to, like, Asia. They still walk over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know? Like Shibuya Crossing, a bunch of the brick roads, and down in Europe, they got they got places to walk. Those who do not own cars rely on public transportation, which also limits your freedom of movement. You must go where the bus goes. You must go where the train goes, etc., etc. Ted recognizes that we do live in a so-called free society, but he argues we are only free up until a point where our actions impact the functioning of the system. Whether legally, morally, or socially, threatening the system is the line at which behavior is considered unacceptable. He asks, what kind of freedom does one have if one can use it only as someone else prescribes? Ooh, he kind of spitting. What kind of freedom does one have if one can use it? Only as someone else prescribes. Ooh. He kind of... The, the serial killer kind of... Kind of spitting right now. Like, I'm not going to lie. He got it. He got it with that one. Because, I mean... That's not really freedom anymore now, is it then? Uh, that's... That's not freedom. That's an allowance. Ooh. He got it, bro. <laughs> dog on a leash is not free. Kaczynski further argues that you have no agency to change Ugly the painting. system. Because modern industrial production is so complex, the world relies on the cooperation of very large number of people and machines. Decisions must impact millions of people. So by necessity, those decisions are made by employers, politicians, or other authority figures. In this way, your life is determined by the choices and actions of other people. Choices that you can have no measurable impact on. Even in a pure democracy, if a hundred million people vote on something, each individual has one one millionth of a share in the decision. Kaczynski says there is no way to fix this in a hyper-connected industrialized society. In such a society, our basic needs are met with pretty much no challenge. Most of our jobs require little more than showing up and doing what you're told. So we must yeah. seek out other goals. We are forced to engage in what Kaczynski says are ultimately meaningless hobbies that can never really bring us fulfillment. A serial moneymaker will never have enough. A political activist's work is never What really is finished. this machine on screen there right now? There are endless stamps to collect. Kaczynski <sighs> argued that the lack of a meaningful goal fulfillment process causes unrest and distress. Ted asks, how can you live if you don't have anything truly meaningful to strive for and attain? Kaczynski argues that being subjected to this level of control and suppression puts us in unnatural, detrimental circumstances. Altering humans to fit a system, rather than vice versa, has far-reaching consequences. 
Kaczynski mm. theorized that this trend would only continue until technocrats one day are able to edit the genetic makeup of humans to better suit the system. What? At this point, the human species would change from something natural into a designed, manufactured good. Kaczynski theorized that eventually our systems would become so complex that we simply wouldn't be able to see the far-reaching consequences of any decisions. Only computers and artificial intelligence would have the ability to make good decisions. While AI wouldn't be sentient, it would be the only thing capable of governing our industrialized system. Effectively, control of our world would be given over to artificial intelligence. Kaczynski did not believe this system could be reformed. He found the concept of reform to be naive, saying that technology only got more and more prolific across the entirety of human history. Any truly significant reforms, he said, would bear far-reaching consequences that could very likely be disastrous. He did not believe traditional reformers would be willing to take this risk, especially given they are benefited by the system. Furthermore, Kaczynski argued against technophiles who believed science would solve all of these Technophiles? Ted said we'd been hearing that That's for That's kind of crazy. The Industrial Revolution was supposed to solve world hunger, for example. The result had been quite the opposite by Ted's estimation. Yeah. Technophiles, he argued, continued to ignore that their solutions brought new problems. For example, scientists boast that they will end famine by creating new, genetically engineered food plants. But this will allow the human population to keep expanding indefinitely, and it is well oh, known got this that man crowding so candid photos. increased stress and aggression. So, Ted called for revolution. He said that it was basically time to start over, time to destroy everything. There's no way that's his bombs. that this revolution would cause a lot of suffering. He justified this by pointing bombs. out that increasing industrialization would lead to even greater suffering. Further, Kaczynski believed that the larger the system was allowed to grow, the more suffering its eventual collapse would cause. So by destroying things now, he was actually choosing a more humane option. As much as he hated technology, he loved nature. Ted believed that nature was the antidote to all of these problems. Primitive man, he believed, dealt with virtually none of the issues we have today and lived quite contently. Content for like a good like you know, fifteen years. Uh, you know they were content for a good, real solid, real slow pace, slow burn. Uh, but content fifteen years of life until you get mauled by a bobcat, um, in the middle of nowhere, and then your family finds you shredded to pieces. Um, you know, in a bush somewhere, you know what I'm saying? But you don't have to deal with all the, uh, industrial problems. So, I mean, I guess it's a dub, a dub in his book. Only in nature could you have true freedom over your base needs. Those which Ted believed would create authentic fulfillment. When all industrial systems were removed, only thing they were filling was Bobcat's bellies, boy. <laughs> removed, people would be forced to live in accordance with nature. A lot of these opinions sound very left-wing by today's standards, but Ted Kaczynski hated liberals. A huge portion of this manifesto is dedicated to declaring all the problems with leftists, many of which I would say are pretty accurate today. And likewise, he hated the right wing as well. Ted pointed to the hypocrisy of demanding constant economic growth while also resisting any significant social change. Mm. Economic growth, he argued, inevitably caused social changes. You see, Ted was convinced that no division, no label mattered other than the people trying. This guy is kind of smart, though. <laughs> he was really thinking. Man, this guy was really smart. I'm not going to lie. Freedom. The serial killer is on to something. After Ted's manifesto was published in the Washington Post, his brother David saw the essay and recognized Ted's writing style. David oh. alerted the authorities who arrested Ted in his Montana cab. Ah, puh. Snitch. His own brother turned him in? That is so like, nah, that's not it, chief. He got, wow, I'd be so hot. Man, his own brother turned him in. That's crazy, bro. That's wild. I, nah. I've been 1996. Unforgivable. Ted was given eight consecutive life sentences with no possibility of parole. 
was found dead in his cell on June 10th, 2023, likely from suicide. Wow. In many ways, I believe Ted was objectively correct in his analysis of our modern world. Many of his predictions have also come true since he wrote the essay. Now, if you subscribe entirely to Ted's philosophy, then sure, his solutions seem like the only way forward. But for most people, myself very much included, sending bombs in the mail seems like a pretty bad solution to very real problems. Indeed, it would seem to me like his 20 years of domestic terrorism had basically no impact on the world. Mm, and that's the story of the Unabomber. That's kind of crazy. This kind of turned into history class for a second. I'm not going to lie. That man was smart, though. He had some ideas. He was, he was cooking a little bit. I mean, the domestic terrorism, that was kind of, eh, that was questionable. But, you know, other than that, he was kind of solid on his theses. On to the next thing, yeah? Fear the spotlight. <laughs> Let's go. Scary game, scary game. Uh, am I playing this with controller or no? I'll just do a keyboard and mouse. This game better be scary. If not, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my refund and I'm Did you dipping. See nah, it's totally empty. Let's go. I kinda like the visual stuff. Baddie, baddie. Right? Yeah, it's just around the Am I hitting on that? Pancakes. Never mind. Okay, left mouse button, sign next to the door, faculty offices. Ugh. I was just in the counselor's office last week. Oh, right. She said your boots were a distraction. Her whole body yeah, is well, a distraction. At least I got to see <laughs> uh, instead okay. of <laughs> Well, if someone can't focus because of a cool pair of boots, that's their own fault. <laughs> Library, here we come. Oh, actually, the library's the other way. Stupid. You really don't go to the library much. Oh, ha ha. I know you pretty much live at the library, but books are really not my scene. Yeah, it sounds like devil you worship that, is. I'm not gonna lie. Really missing out. A poster in the display case. Sunnyside High. Sunnyside High? Nah, <laughs> nah. Building trust, inspiring growth, nurturing relationships with each and every student. Sunny side. That sound like I don't know. It's a poster in the display case. In the spirit of fall, we are now showcasing our collection in the occult history. Come learn about this and more on the fun subject. What? Come learn more about this fun subject at the library. Uh, nah, gang. <laughs> no thanks. I got them Harry Potters on, though. That's kind of crazy. It's locked. Oh, really? Don't worry. I've got this. So, how did you learn to pick locks? <laughs> My older brother. He was obsessed. With lock picking videos. Those are kind of entertaining. I'm he taught me all lie. sorts of things before we moved away. Oh, yeah? What else did he teach you? How to use pepper spray, how to forge my parents' signature. Wow. Not to talk to cops. Wow. You know, important stuff. Wow, that's important. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I can teach you too if you want. My parents would kill me if I ever forged their signature. 
I'm not gonna lie, I've done that a couple tell times. You if they knew where we were right now. That's true. My English teacher did say I needed more life experience for my college applications. Wow. But I doubt he meant breaking and entering. My corruption skills are working. Come to the dark side, Viv. <laughs> she sounds like a 27 year old woman. I'm supposed to just believe she's like, what, in high school or something? Viv, get down. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's just a security camera. What kind of security camera is that? Nah. Oh, sorry. Bro, this ain't no security camera. What is that? Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You trying to kiss me or something? Back up. Bro, this giganto... Bro. Let's go. That was a close one. <laughs> Great job. Whoa. Okay. Holy crap. The weather couldn't be more perfect. I hope the board looks as old and creepy as I imagine. What? Why she say that like that? <laughs> Friends? What a joke. Just last week I overheard her talking crap about me in the bathroom. Ugh, Crap, water. bathroom. Oh. We don't need friends like that. We've got each other. Oh, I don't like that. That's about to set me up for a mean jump scare. Whoa. This must be it. Pretty basic library, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of a weird layout for like a, a library. Ain't no books in this hallway right here. There's a ramp? Like what? Don't tell me. I got an award for being at the library all day. Can I get in here? That can't be me, right? Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, I can't. Okay, cool. Photo display. Student Volunteer of the Month. Ah, oh, nah. Come on. And you got H at the end of your name for no reason. Oh boy, I forgot about this. Hope Amy doesn't see this big picture with you front and center. You know, I won't hear the end of it. Well, I mean, it's not really hidden. They keep our key cards. Ooh, Get the library key card. I guess everybody else in the school is just. Oh, I can close it back. Okay, that's clutch. Press escape. I need to go grab the key for the display case. Whoa! Why does my lungs have a meter though? This Resident Evil like meter. Examine. Oh, this is Resident Evil, bruh. Yeah, this is Resident Evil. Sounds good. I'll go find a spot to set up while you're doing that. You're doing what? Ooh, keys. Uh, key card reader. Select an item. Oh, got that. This is Resident Evil, bro. Resident Evil, uh, Big Booty Schoolgirls Edition, you know what I'm saying? They finished construction recently, you can't tell there was a fire here. Uh oh. Get that. What is this? Note written between teachers. <laughs> Please be careful to leave important documents around. Moved into the bottom filing cabinet. Yeah, and you just left this open for anybody that moseys on in here to see. So, <laughs> thank you, idiot. There it is. 
this one right here. Give me that. It's jammed. Of course it is. I can't use this? Yeah, I thought so. Over to Juicy Gossip. I don't care about no gossip. Let's go. What is this? That is the biggest inhaler I've ever heard, seen in my life. Who is using this? This is crazy. Be useful if my lungs ever need a relief. Oh. That's a healing item. Man. <gasps> oh, no, 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 baby girl. No, no. This month's display features the history of the occult. This whole school on some demon worship stuff. Yo! See, this is why we're about to die. Look at this. What is this? Come on now. Here's the key to be unlocked. Boom, bam, bop. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad choice road for sure. Uh, I don't want to touch that. You take the spirit board, of course. Of course we do. What is our skin color? Where did Amy go off to? Oh, she's not white. She's not white. Can't play the race card. She's not white. This is very, very bad. Ah. Uh, Amy seems like the type to play jokes and jump out and stuff. I don't play that, bruh. I hate it when Miss Ridges takes away our phones. Now we have to write notes like we're cavemen. Yeah, these little kids, bro. What is that? Okay. I'm trip. I'm tripping. <laughs> well, they got black people in this game? That's kind of crazy. A memorial to those who died in the fire in 1991. Uh, what's the body count? Three, six, eight. Times three. They got 24 bodies. Nice even number. Bro, I don't know about this filter they got on the game right now. Oh! Oh, okay. Why is she just That's sitting the there? Though? Yes. I mean, <sighs> welcome, Vivian. Please take your seat, and we can begin. Tonight, oh, this idiot, these idiots. Lord, please protect me in anything that may follow this ridiculous, goofy uh, sequence. Don't worry. Because this is not good. This is no good. Just do whatever I say. Okay. Good. To start, go ahead and place the spirit board on the table. This is not good, bro. even cooler up close okay next we have to set the right ambience I'll light these first two candles why are you only lighting two how are you doing that the other two. They make me do this. Have you ever actually done this before? Well, not exactly, but I've read a lot about it. Oh, a book. No books, just trusty old internet forums. That's goofy. Why can't I see your face? I don't like that at all. Well, there's one last thing. What is that for? What is that? It's a rose I found in my locker last week. 
I don't know how it got in there, but it's all burnt and old. What? And then you thought it was a good idea to do this. Wait, Amy, is that true? Oh my god. Yeah. It's not that. I Amy it. dead. But do you think this is safe? It's not. No. Right, You're contacting demon. Oh, I'll protect you. Okay. How? With the what? Let's do this thing. Let's both put our fingers lightly on the pen check. There's people slamming doors in my house. Oh, wait. Viv, you have to keep your hands still. You let the spirits do the answering. Oh, got it. Great. Just like that. Now repeat after me. With hands entwined and hearts alone. Heck no. No, 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 this is on my computer. This is downloaded on my computer right now. No, no. Spirit, are you here with us? It ain't moving. This stuff is goofy. Are there any spirits here who wish to communicate? Please, show us a sign if you're here. Yeah, let's go on. This is goofy. I don't think this is working. <sighs> what was that? Spirit, are you here with us? No. No, 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 no. What? I didn't click anything. I didn't click. I didn't move my thing or anything. What? Okay. Okay. That was that's kind of clean how they programmed that. Who are you? Are you the one I hear following me in the halls? Wait, what? Amy, has something been following you around? Spirit, are you dangerous? Wow. Huh? No, 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 nope, nope, no. Amy, I don't like this. I'm scared. Amy, straight face. It's going to be okay, Vivian. Take deep breaths. Dude. Ooh, the chair is empty. Amy, I want to stop. Amy's gone. Amy. Ooh. Are you okay? Ooh. Overlight the candles. How about you get up? Amy is not there anymore. Oh my. Amy is not there anymore. Bro, it's over. It's just raps. Why are they making me do this? Yeah, I knew it. Amy? Amy's not here, Amy, bro. Where are you? Amy got folded. Amy, where did you go? And we're in the game. All right. Well, I'm a blue ball, y'all now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how do you save? Oh crap. Uh never mind what I just said. I was never I would never do you guys like that. Uh you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I was I wasn't about to end the video right there. Uh and blew y'all's balls. You know what I'm saying? I would never do that. That's that's disrespectful and uh an attack on your character that would not be forgiven. Yeah, you're not getting me with those. Try harder. Come harder, but yeah, come harder in my face with it too, because otherwise you're not gonna get me. Okay. Whoa, what is that? 
Oh. Are What the? Okay. Oh no! Get get me out of there. I know you saw that. I know you saw that. Okay, I gotta take this game seriously now. I know y'all saw that. What? No. No game. No game. Music I Oh, I gotta go. It's just a shadow. It can't hear me. It's backing up. It's gone now. I'm not even, like, scared no more, bro. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing, bro. You know, I was just acting scared for the YouTube and the views and the clicks and... Uh... Is she bleeding? Why is she just crying in the... Oh, I gotta go forward. Amy is fine. Polygonal waifu said what? Oh, that was just the lighting. Back up, bruh. Back this camera up. I will burn Amy with this candle if I need to. Hey, hey, move slowly. Back up, put your hands up. Oh, nah. Daystar took her. <laughs> Can't get her back. Goodbye. Well, that's that. And she getting... Yeah. You know, it's... Whoa! Whoa! Enigma of Amigara Fault? Like, what? I'm just walking into random holes in the ground? Or holes in the wall? What is this? <laughs> this Junji Ito right here. What is this? I'm just running into random holes in the wall. Oh. Uh, And the hole's gone. Oh boy. This is some Psychonauts type stuff right here, bro. What is this? No, no, family. No, no. Where's my, uh, yeah, where's my, ah, oh, crap. Okay. At least I don't have a stamina bar. Wait, which direction was I going? Okay. All right. We had some uh, turbulence, and um, one of the lockers fell down. That's cool. Um. Oh, something to read over there. There are papers and textbooks scattered on the ground. Wait, is this right? 1991. Where am I? Or rather, when... Okay, I'm not going to make the joke. <laughs> ah, la, 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 la. Did 
you pray today? You know what I'm saying? Because if you didn't, I'm not going to. Uh, what is this? Some shotgun Resident Evil 7 type stuff? Want something? I don't got it. <gasps> Sorry, I just <clears throat> realized I hadn't eaten dinner yet, and it's kind of late. That's that's all that was. Just a simple exhale. Phantom of the Opera. Wow, we really are in the past. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, we're definitely in the past. <laughs> Key card. How do I lose all my items? Make that make sense. What is that? B. Am I blind? Or is that just unintelligible? Is that a body on the ground? Oh, that's moss. Or mold. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, this is this is on some. key card the note says hey Dana could you return the toolbox to the repair guy that came last week he left in a hurry and forgot his stuff said he hurt I must have been those kids again um what is this industrial sized pipe doing here bro what is this school on Reflections, okay. <laughs> what is that? I'm not like scared or nothing. I'm just, you know. There's a tryout flyer soaked in the water on the ground. Don't pick that up. Diary page that reads, I'm so anxious about Friday. Phantom of the Opera is one of my favorite shows of all time. Heather, Heather. <laughs> yeah, it's the 90s. <laughs> was so angry when she found out I was practicing. Hop off for me. I already don't have friends, and now everyone glares at me to stay on Heather's good side. I just want to be the star, so maybe Raul will finally notice me. People having diaries is so strange to me. But, you know, go off. <laughs> No between students. We're going to hang out. Uh, oh my. I can't even. Hold on. No between students. We're going to hang out in the underground tunnels again. Huh? No, duh. I heard there were spy holes in every class. Isn't that creepy? Gross. Let's find them. You can't condemn the existence of spy holes and then go try to find the spy holes. That's not how that works. Is that a paper mache? No, there cannot be a body under here. No, that's too much. Ooh -wee. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll do it. No. Pry open the fingers. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Get me out of here, please, please. Oh, God. Are you trying to? F Are you trying out for the play? No way, Heather is going to get a lead again anyway. I heard Chrissy. <laughs> Chrissy. <laughs> I 
practicing in the bathroom, she sounded pretty good. Maybe she'll get the lead. The weird girl, as if. Plus, Heather always gets her way. Who is this Heather girl? She overrated. For the tribute to B34. Okay. Why? Nothing in here is on order. Funds. Insert funds. I got no money game. So clearly, this is not an accurate representation of myself in real life. I can't play as myself. I got no money? Like, come on now. I just bought a game on stream right here. Like, come on. Who do you think I am? Well, you said it was under $20? Okay. You got it. audio is playing uh, let's see let's have one more segment one more segment street fight five or Street Fighter Five or play something else or watch something. Minecraft launcher. You can play Minecraft. Slippy. Epic Games. A dolphin. For our last segment, I think we could play us. Uh, what can we play? thinking I just play one more video one more video one more video Vitamin lore, false advertising. A leader of lean. Okay. Let's see. Let's play a little song in the, in the meanwhile. Less song. Hey, three subscribers? Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah. We getting up there. We getting up there. Call me PewDiePie. You know what I'm saying?
We play on roll 20 for magic. We play on roll. Street Fighter 5 is up and loading. Okay. It's not showing on screen. So show screen one. All right, you should be able to see now. My neck already. Crazy.
Ooh, nice little combo. Ooh. You know I got it on me. You know I got it on me. No, I wasn't tough. Yeah, I was tough with my skill. Grab. Into a super though. I'll settle this. It's the end. That voice is not it, Chief. Sorry, man. That voice is so drunk. Try to grab me. No, 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 no. Okay. Ooh, I'm done. I'm not playing games with you. You need to understand. You need to see how it is. I need to pick a harder CPU. It's not really a challenge for real. I don't even be getting hit. Dinosaurus. Nah, that's crazy. Round one. Fight. Boom. He's getting naked. Oh, he just went turn into a black man. Okay. Black face is acceptable. I thought he got naked. Then I was like, yo, that's just sexual, right? Wrong move! Why would you do that? No, baby girl. Why her skirt? Okay. <laughs> we got Batty in the back. Why she got a whip? No, I don't do that. Ah! Wow, we just allowed to get that off.
Round two. Oh wow, he just gangsta walked on me. He was not scared at all. I'm over here respecting his face and stuff, like. better by itself, you know what I'm saying? Too easy, bruh. I'm so good at this game, I can pick random and I'm gonna win. I'm not gonna do it though, cause you know, I don't wanna embarrass the computer like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pick Resident Black Man. And, uh, you know, let's see some, uh, black on black violence. Yeah. Let's get some Negro action. citizens fight each other you know what I'm saying these lower income uh, you know, jigaboos I can't just keep watching this I'll play as um Details are there in here for it to be lagging? Okay. Right, I'ma just, you know what I'm saying. for a second.
Let's watch one more video. One more video. I can make some content out of that. Surely. caps lock is on easy all right let's uh, let's watch a couple of these videos these are kind of cool so i might as well check them out too much all right shout out uh evc noble he has some good content so i'm just react to some of his stuff all right watch this video hold on hey ever don't get too close in this video hey babe. huh look i finally finished my book oh nice the food lab i like that name I taught you how to read. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to read. You just read the title. No, I didn't. You never told me you were a witch, Mary. I swear by the gods, I would not lie to you, my husband. Answer me this. If you get it right, I'll let you live. Okay, I'm already kind of bored. That forehead is crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh... Yeah, I never seen that. That's that's wild. Wow. Wow. Don't worry about the stuff on my recommend. That's you know. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna just end it here. Ooh, that sounds like a good video. Bobby Althoff in a rude interview style. Yeah, I've seen a couple of her videos. Or I've I haven't seen I've seen a couple clips of uh of the what you call it, the really good podcast, but I haven't watched too much of it. Hey, how many things am I subscribed to? Uh, oh, well, I don't know. I guess I'm not subscribed. All right. Well. I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. I'll be editing these videos, hopefully. Uh, I got all week. Next week. So, I'm going to start uploading. We about to go crazy. We about to go off. Uh, Rise of the Vineyard. Rise of the Green Beans. Can I call you guys Green Beans? Let me know if I can call you guys Green Beans. Um, link to the Discord. Uh, it will be in in the comments. If not, uh, I'm going to just put it everywhere, all right?
I'll put it in the chat. Uh, hold on. No, I'll do it later. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.